Good evening, and uh, welcome to Sports Line Radio. My name is Dave, the Meat Man Scandaliato, and uh, I am broadcasting live from beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, the sports and gaming capital of the United States of America. And you are listening to this program right here on 910 AM WUBR. CBS Sports Radio in Baton Rouge, and uh, we got a, a good show uh, planned for you today, as uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. Obviously, uh, the NBA Finals uh, start tonight for the third year in a row. It's going to be the uh, Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, and of course, I got some odds on the uh, NCAA baseball. As I went down to, I guess, what, 32 teams, uh, I got the odds on uh, LSU to win the whole thing. I also got the odds on the Tigers to win the Baton Rouge Regional. So uh, we got a lot of stuff that uh, uh, that we need to uh, cover today. But uh, before we get the party started, I want to uh, quickly remind everybody that the following information is to be used as news material only and is not intended to violate any state, federal, or local laws. All right, the NBA Finals. This is going to be pretty good, man. I mean, if you like basketball, I mean, you literally have the three best NBA players on the planet. You know, if you want to throw Kawhi Leonard in there, all right, you want to throw... Russell Westbrook in there, that guy, ah, he, he averaged a triple-double. But, I mean, on the floor, you're going to have LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, that, that's not bad. That's that's not bad. That's not a bad basketball game. You could throw seven other dudes out there by, outside of Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving and Draymond Green and, and the other uh, – uh, the other half of the Splash Brothers, I never can remember that poor dude's name, man. I wonder how many other people can't remember that poor guy's name, Clay Thompson, man. For some reason, I can never remember that guy's name. I mean, they got Andre Igloo Dollar. He's out there. So, I mean, this could be pretty good. You got the, the number one three-point shooting guy over the last couple of years, Kyle Corver, white guy, Cap. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, look. Well, I mean, this could be good. This could be good. I mean, look. I'm looking forward to it, Cap. I'm looking forward to it. At least I'm looking forward to the game tonight. I'm going to the casino in a little while. I'm going to go watch in the casino where they got the in-game wagering, where you can bet as the game goes on. You know, hopefully, I'll tell you in a minute who I'm going with, but, you know, some kind of way to maybe the other team makes a big run to start the game, and instead of whatever the point spread is, I'll explain it to you in a second because I'm going to go ahead and release – my selection for game one here in a second. Let's go ahead and check the point spread because I can tell you right now in uh, just the last uh, couple of hours, uh, the point spread at Bookmaker moved uh, back up to seven and a half. The Golden State Warriors, a seven and a half point favorite, and they currently have the total at the 224 and a half. Some places have 225 around town here in uh, Las Vegas. The money line, the Golden State Warriors minus 335 with the Cleveland Cavaliers coming back plus 270. I think you got to go with Cleveland here, man. I think you got to go with the Cavaliers. I, I, I mean, look, this is the way I look at it here. Cleveland's beaten Golden State four out of the last five times that they played. That's, that's the bottom line. They beat them the last three times in the NBA Finals last year. Then they beat them on Christmas Day. Believe me, I had Golden State. I had the Warriors in that Christmas Day game. They were up 10 midway through the fourth, something like that. I still can't believe I lost that. Believe me, I, I lose a lot of games that I'll never forget. I'll never forget that one on Christmas Day. I thought I had myself a nice present there. Because nobody else gave me nothing, but of course I didn't give anybody nothing. So that's just how it works, Cap. You give nothing, you get nothing. I was just going to give myself a present. <laughs> Golden State Warriors. I think it was like a picket. Minus one, minus two. Uh, I think, man, what a revenge game this is. Golden State coming off the, the three losses in a, in, a, 
NBA Finals after having a 3-1 lead. And, man, I was right all the way up until the Y. It's like a horse race where your horse leads every step of the race except the last one. The only one that counts. And uh, bottom line is uh, Cleveland's beating Golden State four out of the last five times. I don't, I don't think Golden State ought to be given a team that's beaten them four out of the last five times seven and a half points. That's a lot of points, man. You know, the NFL, the team that wins the game covers the spread over 80% of the time. That's not the case in the NBA. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. The team that uh, wins the game doesn't necessarily cover the spread. Like, for example, in the NFL playoffs last year, the team that won the game covered the spread in every one. The, the wild card round, the divisional round, the conference championship, the Super Bowl, both college football playoff games and the national championship game. All you had to do was pick the winner of the game. And you can forget about the point spread. If you picked the team that won the game that was the favorite, they covered. If you picked the team that was the underdog, hey, they won outright. But it doesn't work like that in the NBA. It doesn't work like that in uh, pro basketball. And uh, you're basically giving the Cleveland Cavaliers three possessions. You're giving them three possessions. I mean, seven and a half points. I mean, that means it's got to be a ten-point game when Cleveland gets the ball. And Kyle Culver or Kevin Love shoots the three. To cover the spread. Of course, I'm going to buy it a half a point, knock it up to eight. I'm actually going to wait a little bit because I, I think the money's going to come in on the uh, Golden State Warriors. But I'm going to tell you right now, LeBron James, he ain't afraid of Kevin Durant. He's not scared of Kevin Durant. LeBron James ain't worried about no Kevin Durant. Remember, LeBron James won his first NBA title against Kevin Durant. And Oklahoma City Thunder. So he ain't worried about none of that. He ain't worried about them. That's the last thing he's worried about is Kevin Durant. I, I, he ain't scared of Kevin Durant. I, 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 I kind of like Cleveland here. The series price is pretty much the same as the money line for game number one. The odds makers are basically thinking maybe this could be like a tennis match where somebody's got to break serve. Who's going to win on the other team's home court and break serve? Is Cleveland going to win in Golden State one of the first two games? The Golden State Warriors minus 330 for the series price. The Cleveland Cavaliers coming back plus 270. Pretty much mirrors the money line. In game number one. I like the Cavaliers here, man. I like Cleveland in this spot. I ain't gonna lie to everybody. I mean, I like I like Cleveland. I like the Cavaliers, man. I, I look, I think, believe it or not, the guy you gotta watch out for for the Cleveland Cavaliers is this guy named Kyle Culver. White guy. He's a white guy. What he is, he's the leading three point shooter in the NBA over the last couple of years. A lot of people don't even know who this dude is. He used to play for the Atlanta Hawks. You know, the Hawks would make it to the first round, maybe the second round of playoffs. And if you were, you were a diehard NBA fan, you know who Kyle Korb is. But for the most part, ain't nobody knows who this dude is. You know, he's not on any kind of TV commercial. He's not in any kind of NBA cast promo deal or anything like that. A lot of people don't even know who this guy is. But I know who he is. The beat man does. Don't worry about that. And he just sits there in a the three-point line. That's all he does. He don't get no rebounds. He don't get nothing. All he does is shoot threes. He sits out there in a the three-point line, and he waits for one of the guys to get double team. Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, Kevin Love, they kick it out to him, and boom, he hits the three. And it's really going to come down to him because he hits about 45% of his three-pointers. And I guarantee you, when you check the stat line, every time Cleveland beats Golden State, it's going to be because of... Kyle Corbin hits over 50% of his threes. He's going to be shooting threes, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A lot of people think the Splash Brothers ain't known for the threes. Clay Thompson and uh, and Steph Curry. But uh, Cleveland's kind of got their pair with this Kyle Corbin dude. Remember, he's the best in the NBA when it comes to shooting a three-pointer. And uh, that's what I'm going to need him to do, man, tonight. I, I like Cleveland tonight. I I think people are way underestimating 
the Cleveland Cavaliers. I, I think a lot of people are, are kind of thinking, uh, you know, look, this is going to be a total mismatch. This ain't no mismatch. You got literally the greatest player, arguably, in the history of the NBA on a team with Kyrie Irving, J.R. Smith, Kevin Love, Kyle Korver, Tristan Thompson. Believe me, he's got a chance, man. When you're the greatest in the world and you surround yourself with better than average players, you always got a chance. I know, I know Golden State's loaded. Draymond Green, I know Andre Iguodala, I know that Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, I can name them all, brother. You ain't got to worry about that. I can name them all, but the, but the bottom line is seven and a half is too much, man. Seven and a half is too much. Game one, nobody knows what's going to happen. This could be a rock'em, sock'em, drag-out series right here. Remember, Golden State won it all two years ago. Cleveland won it all last year. This is going to be their ninth 10th, 11th, what they, Cleveland won in seven last year, and Golden State won in six the year before, so this is their 14th straight NBA Finals game. You don't think these two teams know each other? You don't, you don't, I, I mean, I know, I know Golden State added Kevin Durant, but, you know, hey, look, look, I mean, he's good, man, he, he's the favorite to win the MVP, Kevin Durant, I mean, that, that's a pretty strong addition. That's a pretty strong addition, but uh, I'm telling you, you don't know what kind of series it's going to be, and until you see what kind of series it's going to be, there's no way you should lay seven and a half points in this uh, game one. So you can put me down, but the Cleveland Cavaliers plus the points in game one of the 2017 NBA Finals. Bookmakers got it at seven and a half. I'm going to buy it a half a point. I'm going to knock it up to eight. I'm never going to lose another game by half a point ever again. Ever. If the spread was seven, I just leave it at seven. But if it's anything, anything with a half on it, I always buy the other half. I'm never going to lose another game by half a point ever again. I swore that to myself years ago, years and years and years ago. I said I will never lose another night's sleep because I lost the game by half a point. A lot of people go, me, man, you're wasting your money. Don't worry about what I do with my money. It's mine. It's mine. Don't worry about that. I mean, if you need some of my money to go get you some business, I got yeah, here. I go, you can, but get out of my business. If you don't want to buy the half a point, don't buy it. If you think it's a waste of money, don't buy it. Believe me, nobody's forcing you to do anything. Give me the Cavaliers plus a seven and a half, buy the half point, knock it up to eight. And uh, later on in the broadcast, we'll uh, check the point spreads around town here in uh, Las Vegas as. Uh, we get a little closer to game time. All right, we got to take a break. Got to take a break. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to talk about the over/under, the total, which currently stands at two twenty-four and a half at uh, bookmakers. Some places have it as high as two twenty-five, two twenty-five and a half. We'll also go over the odds to win the final uh, MVP, the uh, NBA Finals MVP. Also got those odds on the LSU Tigers to win the Baton Rouge Regional uh, for the upcoming uh, baseball. Also got the odds on uh, LSU to win the College World Series. So don't touch that down, Cap. We got a lot of stuff still to talk about. You're listening to Sports Line Radio with Dave the Meat Man Scandaliato, broadcasting live from Las Vegas, Nevada. And you're listening to this program right here on 910 AM WUBR, CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. All right, it looked like it was going to crap out right there in the beginning. It came back strong. It came back strong, thank God. I hit the panic button for a second there. Yeah, you can do that.
Oh, when I gotta find the phone? Oh, it's in, oh, it's in my pocket. All right, I got it. All right. All right, and uh, welcome back to Sports Line. My name is Dave, the Beat Man Scandaliato, and uh, I am uh, broadcasting live from Las Vegas, Nevada, the sports and gaming capital of the United States of America. And you are listening to this program right here on 9, 10 a.m. WUBR. CBS Sports Radio in uh, Baton Rouge. All right, uh, before I talk about the NBA over-under, I figured everybody might want to hear the odds on LSU to win the Baton Rouge Regional. LSU is a heavy chalk. The Tigers are minus 1,200. You got to bet twelve hundred dollars to win a hundred. If you think uh, LSU is going to win the Baton Rouge Regional, that's heavy chalk right there, Cap. That that's heavy chalk. Coming in at the second place, I'm pretty sure it was Rice. I'm pretty sure Rice checked in at uh, eight to one. Let me uh, let me just check this here. Make sure. Uh, Make sure I got it right, because uh, I uh, just found this uh, not too long ago. Right, uh, Rice University is 8-1 to one to win the, uh, the Baton Rouge Regional. Then uh, coming in next, uh, you got, uh, let's see, Texas Southern. They're 150-1. to one. They're 150 to one to win the Baton Rouge Regional. That's pretty. That's pretty strong, Cap. That's pretty strong. Without 150 to one, not to win the NCAA baseball title, just to win the regional. 150 to one. And I'm trying to find the other team. There it is, right there. Uh, Southeastern Louisiana. Uh, they're uh, five and a half to one. To win the uh, Baton Rouge Regional. So LSU, the big heavy chalk at uh, minus uh, 1,200. You got to bet $1,200 to win 100. If you think LSU is going to win the Baton Rouge Regional for the NCAA baseball tournament, you got Southeast of Louisiana. They're checking second at five and a half to one. The Rice Owls check in third at uh, eight to one. And then, uh, like I said, uh, Texas Southern, uh, uh, 150 to 1 to win the uh, uh, Baton Rouge Regional. I was looking for a point spread uh, uh, on that LSU Texas Southern game. I mean, it might, they might not put one out there. I mean, I mean, if Texas Southern is 150 to 1 to win a four team Round robin baseball two loss elimination tournament. I mean, my God. I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, I might not be able to find a line on that. Maybe, maybe I was looking for something that doesn't exist. A lot of times, what these sports books will do to put a line on a game like uh, LSU and Texas Southern, they'll say LSU is minus like six runs, seven runs. You know, because what are you going to do? You're going to make somebody bet a thousand dollars to win ten bucks on a LSU. I mean, heck, like I said, Texas Southern's 150 to one to win the Baton Rouge Regional. So I mean, what 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 could possibly be? I mean, it's going to have to be monstrous. The line for game number one. I mean, LSU might be a it might be a ten run favorite. 
tomorrow. But I'm, I'm waiting for that line to come out. Hopefully it'll come out. Uh, well, I wish it would come out here on the program. I wish I could get it right here on the program, but uh, I can't find it, Cap. I can't find it. So, all right. Uh, now, as far as winning the whole thing, uh, LSU is second choice to win the College World Series right now at uh, nine to two, four and a half to one. LSU is right now the uh, favorite. Is Oregon State the Beavers are uh, four to one to win the uh, NCAA baseball uh, championship. So uh, LSU's put themselves in a pretty good spot. I mean, they're playing. Well, uh, obviously not that good team in Texas Southern in their first game, and uh, they picked second overall to win the whole thing against Oregon State, the Beavers. I, I don't know much about that baseball program, but, uh, man, I tell you, in a three-game series, I'd take the LSU Tigers right now over the Oregon State Beavers any, uh, any day of the week. All right, uh, let's go back to talking a little NBA Let's go back to talking a little uh, NBA uh, basketball as uh, the over-under on the game for uh, this game one Thursday night. Tip time, by the way, is uh, 8 o'clock Central time, 9 o'clock Eastern time, 6 o'clock out here in uh, Las Vegas where the meat man's at. It uh, gives me plenty of time. The show ends at 4 o'clock. And then the casino's five minutes away, man. There's nothing better. Than being able to get in the car, get in the Uber, get in Lyft, get any like go make your bet, man. Go make your bet. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting paid. You don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry, wonder what the line is when you call a guy. You ain't got to worry about none of that. None of that. What a, what a way to go through life, brother. What a way to go through life to be able to just go to the window and make your plays. And not have to worry about nothing other than sweat the game. You sweat the game, not the payout, Cap. You sweat the game. I don't want to have to sweat the payout. I don't want to have to sweat twice. I just want to sweat once during a game. Once I win the game, I don't want to be sweating on whether I'm going to get paid or not. And on the flip side, I don't want to have to worry about whether I got the money to pay the guy. Because when you bet out here, you got to bring the money to the window. you got to have cash in hand, Cap. No cash, no no ticket, no bet, no not bad. You can't just go to the window with your credit card or on credit and say you want something, we'll settle up after the game. It don't work like that. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You bet cash, you win cash. You don't have to worry about getting it over your head. Of course, you can max out your credit cards. You can do all that stuff, but uh, it's a little bit tougher to get in over your head when you got to bet cash as opposed to having an online credit account where the bookie gives you some kind of settle limit like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, which 99% of you guys out there know you ain't got if you lost it. Bookie gives you a $5,000 settle line. It ought to be $500. If you're making a $1,000 a week. Let's say you go to work 40 hours a week. And you take home a thousand bucks, which is twenty-five dollars an hour. You shouldn't be betting more than thirty-three dollars a game. You're a thirty-three dollar game player at best, maybe fifty-five. If you think you're a hundred dollar game player, you're nuts. Especially if you play every day. Now, if you only play on Saturday, you play one game on Saturday, one game on Sunday, maybe the Monday night game. I give you the one ten to win a hundred. But you betting two, three games a night. You a $55 player at best, at best. All right, the over-under tonight, 224.5. And, a half. and uh, what's interesting about that total is the last 10 times, the last 10 times that the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers played, they didn't have even sniff. I mean, they never even sniffed. 225, 224 and a half, whatever it is, Cap. They didn't even sniff that. I mean, last year in the NBA Finals, Golden State game one, 104 to 89. That's uh, 193. Uh, game two, Golden State, 110, Cleveland, 77. 
That's 187. Game three, Cleveland, 120, Golden State, 90. That's 210. Game four, Golden State, 108, Cleveland, 97. That's 205. Then game five, Cleveland, 112 to 97. That's 209. Game six, Cleveland, 115, Golden State, 101. All right, so that game, they got 216. I guess you could say they sniffed it a little bit there. Got to within eight. Got to within eight. And then, and then the, 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 the game seven last year, Cleveland wins 93 to 89. I mean, that, that 93 to 89. That's a hundred and what, eighty two points? I mean, come on, Cap, they gotta score forty something more points than that tonight. This game's gonna be tight, man. This game's gonna be tight tonight. Everybody knows the importance of game number one. Everybody knows how important game number one is. This is a big game right here, brother. This is a big game, game number one. This is a this is a big game right here, man. Look, believe me, this game is gonna set the tempo for the series. There's no throwaway games in this series. Uh, uh, the Golden State Warriors realized that last year uh, with the Draymond Green thing and all that. Man, when you're up 3-1, you got to go for the throat, man. They ain't none of this, oh, we're going to give the game away and celebrate in the home court and all that. That's all nonsense, Cap. At least in this series, once again, I mean, this is going to be their 14 straight finals games. This is going to be the 14th time in a row that you've turned on the television to watch an NBA Finals game. Let's say you don't watch any NBA basketball all season, except for the Finals. That's the only time you watch the pros, for the Finals. You don't watch the regular season, because we all learned this year what the regular season means. It means absolutely nothing. I mean, it means nothing. All these close games, all this excitement, teams hitting the three at the buzzer and all that, man, look. What Golden State and Cleveland did in the playoffs is pretty unbelievable. 24 and 1. One team went 12 and 0, the other team went 12 and 1. I mean, come on. You don't think they could do that during a regular season? I mean, come on. If you, you can go out there and beat the ever living poo poo out of some of these teams, you don't think they could do that during a regular season? Of course they can. They just, you know, during the regular season, they take games off. They don't care. I mean, you don't think the Cleveland Cavaliers give a rat's behind about some regular season game when J.R. Smith hits a three in the corner to beat the Philadelphia 76ers 112 to 111. These guys don't care about that. Deep down, they don't care because they know they go to the finals. At least two teams. You know, you can throw San Antonio in there. The Spurs, you know, look, they were around for a while. And obviously Golden State kind of took over where San Antonio was. And, of course, we don't know what the Spurs would have did if uh, Kawhi Leonard wouldn't have got hurt because they were up 20-something points in game one. I mean, they were on their way to win game one. There's no way the Golden State Warriors come back in game one of that uh, – Opening round, uh, Western Conference playoff series, uh, uh, but there's no way they come back. They might have made a game out of it. It might have got close, but Kawhi Leonard, I mean, he's that good that he, I, he can protect a 20 something point lead with him in the game with the team that San Antonio has around him. But, uh, I mean, the bottom line is, uh, there's two good teams in the NBA, and that's it, man. That's it. That's it. I mean, like I said, one team's got, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, the other team's got LeBron James. I think they've won like like every MVP or a lot. Who knows how many of the last 10 MVPs, a lot of them. And then, like I said, a lot of people don't realize, man, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they now got the best three-point shooting guy in the NBA the last couple of years. But, but, but Golden State prides himself on their defense. And that's why I think you might see kind of a slow down defensive style kind of game tonight. I don't think you're going to see these two teams running up and down the floor. I, I, I just don't see this game being 110-110. I, I don't see it. I mean, even if it gets to 110-110, I mean, it would go to overtime. That would be a total disaster, of course. But 
Obviously, 110, 110. I mean, even that doesn't get it over 224 and a half. I'm going under the total, man. Put the meat man down for under the total. I'm going to take under 224 and a half. Of course, I'm going to buy the half point there, too. I'm going to make it 225. I'm going to buy the half a point. I'm going to lay 11 to win 10. I'm going to lay 12 to win 10. Instead of 11 to win 10, I'm going to buy the half a point, knock it up to 225, and I'm going to bet 12 to win 10. There's a lot of 225s out there. To be honest with you, I'm not going to have to knock it up to 225. I might have been able to knock it up to 226 by the time I get to the sports book because the line opened, and then it went down, and then it went up. And then it went up, it went to 226 and a half, and then it came crashing down this morning. But it's slowly but surely creeping its uh, its way back up. I mean, these two teams, the last uh, one, two, three times they've played, four, five, six times they've played, the under is 4-1-1. One, and one. The last six times the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors have played the under, has gone four times, the over once, and a push. Now everybody says, well, what about the, the four games before that, two and two? Actually, over the last nine games, the under has come in one, two, three, four, five, six times with a push. Six, two, and one is uh, the under in the Golden State Warriors, Cleveland Cavaliers uh, games, and uh, you know, these TV games, the odds makers, they pump up the total cap to add an extra couple of points. There's never any value betting over the total on a TV game because people like betting the favorite and over. They like betting the favorite and over. They love betting the favorite, man. They love betting that over in a parlay, the two-team parlay, the favorite and the over. I'm going the other way tonight. The meat man's going the other way. I'll take uh, under the total, under 224 and a half. Look for 225. If not, buy the half a point. Knock it up to 225. And I can tell everybody I'm taking the Cleveland Cavaliers plus a seven and a half. That's what Bookmaker has. They had seven earlier. But now Bookmaker's got them up to uh, seven and a half. I'm going to buy the half a point. I'm going to knock that one up to eight. We're going to make some money tonight, Cap. I love Cleveland tonight, man. You don't know what, the, what these series are going to be like. You don't know what it's going to be like. You don't know. I mean, everybody's predicting Golden State in a blowout. Stephen A. Smith, he picked Golden State, Cap. How you like that? How you like that, Stephen A. Smith? He ain't got an NBA Finals right in, like, what, five, six years? I YouTube that. That's funny, man. That's funny that you're just supposed to be some NBA expert. Stephen A. Smith is supposed to know more about sports than me and you. Like he's some kind of expert at this, okay? And the rest of us are just too stupid to figure it all out. You played a clip. He picked them wrong year after year after year after year. It's funny. It's funny. I mean, you're picking the NBA Finals. I mean, think about this. Over the last six years, LeBron James has won three NBA titles, two with Miami and one with Cleveland, and he's lost Three NBA titles. Uh, he lost, I guess, what, against Dallas. He lost against San Antonio. And he lost against Golden State. Stephen A. Smith's been wrong all, all six times. All six times. Every time he picks Cleveland to lose, the Le Le LeBron James, not Cleveland. Every time he picks LeBron James to lose, LeBron James winds up winning an NBA title. <laughs> and every time he picks Picks LeBron James to win the NBA title over the last six. He's lost every one. <laughs> he picked Golden State. Go ahead and take that big fat chalk. Go ahead and lay that thirty-three dollars to win ten. Good luck. Let me tell you how that works out, man. In the long run, you get killed. You get killed. I mean, believe me. That, that's that. Believe me. The word upset, if I'm not mistaken, was the name of a horse that beat. Uh, War Admiral, I think the story goes. The name of the horse was called Upset. And way back when, he beat War Admiral, or one of the, one of the greatest horses of all times. And that's where the word Upset 
came from, man. Uh, that was the name of the horse, Upset. And uh, believe me, uh, uh, when you're bet minus 330, you got to win all of your games because even if you hit 80%, you're still a loser. If you hit three out of every four, that's 75%. You win 100, you win 100, you win 100, and you lose, you lose 330. You're down 30 bucks. You got to win 80% of the time. Believe me, three to one favorites don't win 80% of the time. I, I believe me, trust the meat, man. I, I don't have the numbers in front of me. But I can tell you, if uh, if you could make money, just bet minus 330 favorites, we'd all do it. We'd all be making money. But as you know, the house wins month after month. I think the house has won out here in Las Vegas, if I'm not mistaken, 70 straight months. It's going on like six straight years. The sports books uh, in Las Vegas haven't had a losing month. So uh always like to be on the side uh, with the house and uh, – all right, uh, I'm looking at the clock. We've got to take another break. we got to take another uh, commercial break. When I come back, I'm going to give you the MVP odds uh, to win the uh, uh, 2017 uh, NBA Finals uh, MVP. I got uh, that stuff, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, NBA Finals. You're listening to Sportsline Radio, broadcasting live. From beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, the sports gaming capital of the United States of America. And you're listening to this program right here on 910 AM WUBR, CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. That one, that segment, I don't think there was any glitches, huh? So you coming in tomorrow, what are you coming in, and you don't know whether you're going to stay or go, or you just... Gotcha. Right, it's hard, it's hard to believe it can get worse, but <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Well, he ought to. He said, "I got to get." He stuck by. He stuck by him the whole season. He he stuck by him all year, so he deserves a ticket. <laughs> He was the only one. He stuck by him the whole year, so, I mean, hey. Paul Benary finally proved his million-dollar year, a million bucks a year to coach a baseball, college baseball team. Boy. And the sad part is being a coach ain't that hard, man. It's a lot harder to become a baseball player than to be the freaking coach. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, welcome back to Sportsline Radio. My name is Dave, the Meat Man Scandaliano, and uh, I am broadcasting live. From beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, the sports gaming capital of the United States of America. And you are listening to this program right here on 910 AM WUBR, CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. Now, normally we broadcast on Friday, but uh, the last uh, couple of weeks, we've been going on Thursday. And uh, this week, uh, you know, we don't want to go up against the LSU game. That's the last thing the meat man wants to do, LSU playing baseball on a Friday. I don't have the odds on uh, the game. I don't even know if they're going to have odds on the game. I mean, LSU is going to be such a big favorite over Texas Southern. I don't even know how they can put a line up. I mean, LSU is going to have to be minus six, seven, eight runs. I don't know if they could be minus ten runs because of the ten-run rule. I don't know if they have the 10-run rule, uh, but I think they do. LSU might be an 
eight and a half run favorite tomorrow because LSU's minus twelve hundred. You got to bet twelve hundred dollars to win a hundred if you think LSU is going to win the Baton Rouge Regional. Texas Southern is a hundred and fifty to one. A hundred and fifty to one to win the Baton Rouge Regional. A hundred and fifty to one, not to win the College World Series, just to win a four-team tournament. A hundred and fifty to one. LSU, you got to bet twelve hundred to win a hundred. I don't know how you make a line on that game. I don't know how you make it. If I had to make the line, I mean, what would you put LSU? You'd have to bet what, what, what two thousand to win a hundred. You make LSU minus two thousand to win a hundred, and you put the run line LSU minus nine and a half runs. And if LSU doesn't beat them by the ten run rule, you lose. LSU has a big inning. They jump out. You know they score three, four in the first, four, five, six in the second, six, seven runs in the third. Next thing you know, it's fourteen or zip. Game's over, man. You win. You win. Wow. Yep. Southeastern Louisiana, they're five and a half to one to win the Baton Rouge Regional Rice, the Owls. Sam Houston Institute of Technology. You know what that spells, right? Sam S. Houston H. Institute I Technology. That's the actual name of Rice, if you can believe that. The Sam Houston Institute of Technology, but they can't use those initials. Can you imagine that? That'd be kind of funny that they should have did it. That's the name of our team. Who are you playing today? We're playing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can say that word on the radio. I don't think I can say that word on the radio. But uh, if I had to make the line on a game tomorrow, I'd say LSU. You got to bet two thousand to win a hundred, and I'd make the run line LSU minus nine and a half. They got to win by the ten run rule. Oh, they don't cover. All right, let's see. I got the odds right here to win the uh, MVP of the 2017 NBA Finals. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people listed. And the favorite is Kevin Durant, eight to five. Plus a dollar sixty. You think the Golden State Warriors are going to win the NBA title, and Kevin Durant's going to be the MVP? I guess. I guess they could lose the title, and Kevin Durant could still be the MVP. Goes seven games. He averages forty points a game. Some kind of way the Cavaliers win the thing. I can see giving it to Kevin Durant, even though he's on a losing team. He's the favorite, eight to five. To win the MVP. Second choice, Steph Curry. Two to one. Two to one. Steph Curry's two to one to win the MVP. Third choice, LeBron James. 260. Plus 260. You got to bet $260. You win $260 for every $100 that you bet. A little bit over five to two. A little bit over five to two. A little bit over two and a half to one. That's what plus 260 is. It's one click over two and a half to one. Now, you got to remember that you can bet LeBron James to win the MVP at plus 260 or the Cleveland Cavaliers to win the NBA title plus 270. So betting on LeBron James to win the MVP wouldn't be a smart move. The smart move would be just bet the Cleveland Cavaliers to win it all because, look, LeBron James, if, if Cleveland doesn't win the NBA title, he's not going to be the MVP. It's as simple as that. They might give it to Kevin Durant if he averages 40 a game and Golden State loses in seven. They might give it to him, but LeBron's not going to get it. LeBron ain't getting no MVP trophy if the Cavaliers don't win at all. So I, instead of betting LeBron to win MVP 
at plus 260, you just as well bet the Golden State Warriors are uh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers series price where you get the Cavaliers uh, plus 270. You got Draymond Green. He's 9 to 1. Draymond Green. I, I wish there was the odds on Draymond Green kicking somebody in the nuts. You Can you imagine you're watching the whole game? You're watching the whole game and the whole series, and you're just hoping that you're just waiting for one thing to happen, Draymond Green to kick some other dude in the nuts. I mean, think about that. That'd be a good bet. You're all liquored up. It's late in the fourth quarter. The game's out of reach. You're just hoping Draymond Green gets pissed off. He kicks somebody in the balls. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. He's 9-1 to one to win the MVP trophy. 9-1. Nine to one. Kyrie Irving, he's twelve to one. Now that's where the value is right there, Cap. Right there. Kyrie Irving is the guy on the board who could win the MVP if the Cleveland Cavaliers win it all. Kyrie Irving, twelve to one. That's not a bad bet. I might put that one in right here at Bookmaker. I'm reading the odds from Bookmaker. This is the place of I'm not out in a casino here in Las Vegas. I'm on Bookmaker. You can find out more about Bookmaker at uh, meatandpotatoes.com. I got old meatandpotatoes.com and uh, start this football season. I'm going to do some things with meatandpotatoes.com. I haven't done anything with it in the last couple of years. I've just been kind of doing the videos and uh, letting it kind of sit there. But uh, we're going to do some stuff with it coming up uh, for the uh, for the football season. So if you want to get an account at uh, Bookmaker, just go to M-E-A-T-A-N-D-P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S dot C-O-M, meatandpotatoes.com. Just make sure you spell it right. You click that uh, bookmaker banner, and uh, you always want to do that because, God forbid, if there's ever some kind of problem, you want to be able to call a meat man. I believe I got one phone call away. I've been, uh, I've been with this company for a decade, 10 years, 10 years, never had a complaint. Never had a problem, nothing, zero. This is where the line originates. This is the sports book that actually puts the number out. A lot of people always ask me, Meat Man, uh, what casino in Las Vegas puts out the point spread? It's like, man, no. Man, it's made it bookmaker. Chris, Costa Rica International Sports, and their uh, American post up sports book, which is a uh, bookmaker. All right, uh, Kevin Love. He's 30 to 1 to win the MVP. 30 to 1. You got Clay Thompson. He is uh, 30 to 1 to win the MVP. And the final guy, they only got eight guys listed. I sure wish they had Kyle Corver listed. Even though I know he probably wouldn't win. And I'm telling you, he's going to be a big uh, impact. On the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. He makes him threes, man. This guy's been the leading three-point shooter in the NBA the last couple of years. But, man, I'm telling you, if he can hit 50% from beyond the arc, Cavaliers are going to be tough. But he's not listed. The last guy listed is Andre Igludala. And he checks in at 60-1 to 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 win the uh, NBA Finals. MVP. So uh, eight guys listed. There's no field. That that was the weird thing about it. There's no field. Uh, I guess the odds makers and bookmakers think that uh, it's almost literally impossible for someone besides Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Draymond Green, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Clay Thompson, and Andre Iguodala to win the MVP. Tristan Thompson, boy, that, that would be a long shot. J.R. Smith, that would be a long shot. I mean, look, I'll be the first guy to admit, Kyle Corver, he'd be a long shot. I mean, look, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to anybody. I, you know, I, I wouldn't take Kyle Corver at 10 to 1, but I'd take him at 100 to 1. I mean, you got to figure, let's say in a seven game series, this guy drains, I don't know, 63 pointers. He hits 60, shoots 100 of them, and he makes 60 out of 100. 
and he hits maybe one or two game winners. I mean, you never know, man. You never know. You never know. If I was going to bet anybody, though, I would bet Kyrie Irving at 12 to 1 because he can win the MVP. I mean, he is capable of winning the MVP. I don't think he'll ever be the best player on the floor with Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and LeBron James. But, look, he can win the MVP because it all comes down to who's going to win the championship and who scores the most points. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to give LeBron James the MVP if the Cleveland Cavaliers win the championship and Kyrie Irving averages 35 points a game and LeBron averages 27, that'd be, be tough to do. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, look, even if, even if LeBron hit a couple of shots late and all that, I mean, you know, so Kyrie Irving, give me Kyrie Irving at 12 to 1 to win the uh, MVP trophy. And of course, if I'm picking Kyrie Irving, to win the MVP, you know, I'm picking the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, to beat the Golden State Warriors. And uh, I'm going to pick this. Uh, wow. It's hard to pick it in six or seven because then Cleveland's got to go to Golden State and win game six. Oh, that's right. Maybe they do. Well, I got, you know, I got to think about this. Did they go to the, maybe they went to the, uh, you know what? They went to the 2-2-1-1-1. Two, two, one, one, one. I forgot about that. It used to be 2-3-2. Two, two. It used to be 2-3-2. Two, two. So game six would be in Cleveland. So I'll pick the Cleveland Cavaliers to beat the Golden State Warriors in six. If it goes seven games, I don't think Golden State will lose at home in a game seven back-to-back -back years. I think if it goes to Game 7, I think the Golden State Warriors have a huge advantage. So I'm going to pick the Cleveland Cavaliers in six games. And I'm going to get them plus 270 on the series price. Take Kyrie Irving at 12-1 to 1 to win the MVP. And then tonight... Like I said, man, you gotta take, you gotta take the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight plus a seven and a half. You don't know what kind of series this is gonna be. I mean, Cleveland might just come out there and crush Golden State. They've beaten the Warriors four out of the last five times they've played in Cleveland. The Cavaliers beating them three straight in last year's NBA Finals. I mean, uh, uh, man, I tell you, I mean, uh, I mean, would it really surprise anybody that if the Cleveland Cavaliers went in a Golden State's place tonight and beat the Warriors outright? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Once again, they got Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Kyle Culver, Tristan Thompson. I mean, they're, they're loaded, man. Kevin Love. I mean, they're loaded. Just like the Golden State Warriors, they're loaded with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. They're loaded too, man. Everybody's loaded. Everybody's all liquored up, man. This is a this is a liquored up basketball game, man. Everybody's loaded, man. Now, both of these teams, I mean, look, come on, man. From day one, from the start of the NBA season, Golden State had picked up Kevin Durant. In the first game, they played the San Antonio Spurs, and they lost by like 30 or 40. And everybody was asking, oh, what about the Warriors? What about the Warriors? Yeah, these same Warriors, I think they've won, what, 28 out of their last 29 games? 12-0, undefeated in the playoffs, but uh, none of that matters tonight, man. Cleveland is just as good. They were 12-1 and in the playoffs. You know, they're 7-2-1 they're, they're and one against the spread their last 10. That's almost impossible that uh, a team like the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, are beating a number like that. Because you know the odds makers are doing everything they can uh, for them not to cover the spread. But, I mean, Cleveland's playing that good of basketball. So, uh they definitely going to take the Cavaliers tonight, and of course, over under. We're going to go under the total, under 224 and a half, under 225. Once again, the last 10 times these two teams have played, the highest they got was 216. They never sniffed 225, man. They'd have to score another 10 points. Yes, I know Kevin Durant is now part of the Golden State Warriors, but look, they played two games this year, once on Christmas Day. And uh, 2016, and then a game this year, neither of them came anywhere close 
to uh, 224 and a half, 225. So I'm going to take the under the total in uh, game number one. Uh, now, of course, so what about games two, three, four, maybe five, six, and seven? You need a little help betting the uh, NBA Finals. You like betting Major League Baseball? Write this number down. This is my personal cell phone number out here in Las Vegas, 702-609-0930, 702-609-0930. Six zero nine zero nine three zero. That's the phone number that you call, and it'll put you in direct contact with the meat man. That's right. That's right. I'm going to the casino tonight, Cap. I'm going to the window to bet the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm not one of these guys that go on the radio and say that uh, they like a team, but they're not going to bet it. No, not the meat man, Cap. Yeah, I'm not going to bet no thousand dollars or nothing like that on the Cleveland Cavaliers. But I'm going to put a little something on it. I'm going to put a little something on the total. I'm going to play a little in-game tonight. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. And, uh, hey, look, you like betting on sports, but uh, you're having a little trouble getting that envelope from the bookmaker, getting that payout from uh, offshore. Give me a call. Talk directly with me, the meat man, Dave Scandaliano. I've been in the business 19 years, Cap. I opened meatandpotatoes.com 19 years ago. I'm one year away. From my 20th anniversary, 702 All right, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Sportsline Radio. I want to thank my man Don back in the studio. Welcome back, Don. Don had a week off, man. We're all jealous of Don. He had a week off. He got to do whatever he wanted for a whole 168 hours at No Good SOB. Good to have you back, Don. I want to thank my man TK for uh, getting me on a... Uh, uh, WUBR, and of course, uh, the owner of uh, Pelican Sports uh, TV, uh, my man Alan. I want to thank him. Remember to bet with your head, not over it. Money management is the key to making money betting sports. As always, my name is Dave, the Beat Man, San Leano. Have a great week, everybody. Good show. All right. Thank you very much. There was no glitches, right? No, it worked out all right. All right. Good to see you back. And uh, I'll see you next week. You too. Go LSU. All right. That is uh, going to wrap it up for this edition of uh, Sportsline Radio. Remember, you can tune in every week, 9, 10 a.m., WUBR, CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. Normally, I'm on from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. You can listen live at pelicansportstv.com. Of course, you can always watch the rebroadcast of the program right here on YouTube. Uh, uh, it goes up about one hour after the show each week. Once again, I want to thank everybody for listening in. You want to contact the Meat Man, 702-609-0930. And I'll see you in 167 hours right here on Sportsline.